Okay, everybody, I am back. I am back from Wegmans. Um, I have to leave to pick up Kylie soon, but uh, yeah, so first, I don't shop at Wegmans, I just don't. And I definitely know why. It's, it's really expensive. Excuse me? Like seriously, excuse me, $5.99. Okay, maybe for a gallon of ice cream, and that's what I was expecting. I saw all this hype about Halo's Top, and I thought, like, I don't know, I heard pint being thrown around. I thought maybe that was just, like, a serving you could have, which is kind of a lot, but no. A pint of ice cream is five ninety nine. That's That's just insane. So I got two flavors. Just, you know, just, just, just to try it out. So this is, this is insane, you guys. Okay, well, they say that this actually has four servings in it. So I went with the chocolate chip cookie dough, which is 360 calories per pint. That is seriously insane to me. So if you had this entire thing, it, it's 360 calories. Then the other one that I got is Halo Tops chocolate mocha chip. And this, if you have the entire pint, it's 280 calories. Um, otherwise, like if you do a half cup for this one, it's 70 calories. And then for this one, it's 90 calories. I didn't pull out my calculator to see. Oh, let me grab it and a spoon. Okay, so for the chocolate chip cookie dough, Let's say you do what you are supposed to do and have a half cup. Does anybody really actually have a half cup? Like, well, that's, that's, uh, that's crazy. I love my ice cream a lot. So six protein, 14 carbs, three grams of fat, fiber. Let's see, where's fiber on here? Three grams of fiber. So on the Points Plus program, having a half cup of this would be three points. <sighs> Yikes. Um, it really doesn't seem all that great considering this is supposed to be natural and stuff, but what ups? Then this one here, the mocha chip, Let's calculate. So I'm points plus. So again, anybody that's new, I am doing points plus. So protein is six. Carbs is 14. Total fat, 2.5. And fiber, fiber is five. Okay, so this is a better option. I guess I should show you. Sorry for the bright ass light behind me, I just, I have to go over here. Now it's opposite the way it picks up a camera, but that's two points. So let's do a taste test. Seriously, I'm baffled. Like $5.99? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. This better like be having Jesus talk to me and freaking angels singing and shit. Interesting. So I've never seen an ice cream where it has an additional seal. That's kind of cool. I'm more of a chocolate kind of gal. So, I'm not huge on vanilla, but everybody's talking about this one, so I figured I'd give it a shot. All right, bon appetit. Hmm. Okay. Okay, hello, it's up, I see you. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. You can't really tell the cookie dough in it, but it definitely it's sweet tasting. I'm not mad at it. I mean, I'm mad at the price, but I'm not mad at it, like the flavor, like Halo Top. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Wegmans is ridiculous. And just in general, I'm sure the prices are crazy. So I'm definitely not mad at it. That tastes really good. So now we are going to taste test this bad boy here, the chocolate mocha chip. <laughs> I hope you don't disappoint because I love chocolate. Now I can definitely understand why people can uh, 
sit there in one sitting and eat a pint because that was pretty tasty for vanilla and being plain Jane. That was really good. Okay, I'm gonna taste test this bad boy. It almost looks like some jerk off is trying to nick at my ice cream. Like, how dare you? This is mine. I paid good money for this. I want all of you there. <laughs> Let's just drop some on my hand. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Let me do another taste like I did before. This one is um, not coming out as smooth, but who cares? It breaks apart in your mouth, but it like, it breaks apart a lot when you scoop it. So the aftertaste is, it definitely has a coffee mocha taste. The aftertaste is a bit strong. It definitely like slaps you in the face like, hey, I'm mocha, I'm here. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite, but if you're craving chocolate, why not? Between the two? Let me do one more test. Yeah, see, this comes a lot out a lot creamier and smoother, but let's see. I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, I really like the sweetness of the cookie dough. But I love chocolate, but I mean, I've had better. It is good, but I don't know. This is really hard. I don't want to be hating on the chocolate because I love chocolate. Like, you just have no idea. I am a chocolate fiend. I don't know. We'll just call it a tie for now. I'll have to think about it. But that's seriously insane, you guys. $5.99 a pint. I can get a gallon of ice cream from like Turkey Hill brand and pay less than that. That's like half that price. That, that's just crazy to me. Um, so definitely like if I get these in the future, I'll have to look to see if there are sales. Um, but now I'm kind of curious. So now we know it's either two points or three points for just a half cup serving for points plus. I'm kind of wondering what it would be like to have, uh, my favorite is the double dunker ice cream from, from, um, what the hell is it called? Turkey Hill. Now I'm kind of curious to know how many points are in that because it does have cookie pieces. It's uh, milk flavored ice cream. It has cookie dough in it. So, I mean, the cookie dough is probably going to raise it up a bit. And I'm assuming that's why this one's a little higher in points, but I'm really curious. I think next time I go to the store, I'm just going to calculate how many points that is because that is by far my favorite. Like just store-bought ice cream, 100%, hands down, my fave. So yeah, this, this video ended up being a little longer than I anticipated, but I wanted to know what the hype was and I'm not mad at it. Just the price is just insane. Like that's highway robbery. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And just anybody that's watching right now, thank you, I appreciate it. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. And also leave me some love in the comment section. Um, let me know, have you tried Halo Top? What's your favorite flavor? Um, I'm not into mint and stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions of your favorite flavor, unless I've tried it already, let me know. Um, but I might have to keep an eye out and see when these are on sale. Um, and if you are new, by the way, subscribe. And let me know if you do weight loss fitness um, videos as well, let me know because I do love to watch those and follow other people's journeys. And this whole YouTube thing helps with accountability. So I really love that. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.